even though I'm constantly trying to avoid not really titles too much anymore depending on the anime but titles and descriptions sometimes need to be avoided like if you're fucking watching Naruto the battle begins Naruto fights this person will be the title of the fucking episode but when it comes to Toradora I gotta say the titles and the descriptions both non-spoilery and just like I love them this one's called fireworks and description literally just says a summer to be remembered why can't all fucking animes be like this What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Toradora episode 10. We are almost halfway through. I am very excited. This is easily one of the funniest, most relatable rom-coms I've ever seen. I was going to have a, literally a list of adjectives, but I, I, don't, I could stay in here for hours talking about this show. Um, we're on a very interesting vacation spot right now, having some very interesting conversations. Kitamura almost came out in the kitchen butt-ass naked. Remember guys, with certain shows like Toradora, I cannot put the reaction on YouTube, it will be blocked. So click that link in the description, come back here for the review. And if you guys want early access or full length, if you guys want to support the channel, please click that Patreon down below, check that out. If Patreon's not really your thing, but you still want to support me, please leave a like, and leave a nice comment down below. It means more than you guys know. And if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe, turn those notifications on. Follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the streams and the updates. Let's hop into this Toradora episode 10. I didn't write anything down for that episode, but that was a nice little two episode. Like we have an overarching arch. We have an overarching arc, of course, in the show, trying to obtain our loves, Kushieda and Kitamura. But for a nice little two episode little story about it on vacation with the squad, this was so well done. I love this, you know, like so many emotions came out. So many surprises came out. We had some memories. We had some good times. We had fireworks, scares, like, we had naked Kitamura. We literally saw his big black, but we didn't see it. They saw his big black bush. So that's interesting. But I think in terms of how these characters are written, in my honest opinion, the most realistic of them, and this could be different for other people, you know, based off people you've seen in real life, who you can relate these characters to. But Amy has got to be the most realistic to me because I knew people like Amy, like, like super super deep down they can let their guard down and they can be open and considerate to people but one you have to get through that fake persona and two it's a certain mixture a certain balance between making them feel like making amy like these type of people feel like they're needed but also not giving them too much power because if you give them too much power they'll walk right on over you but if you don't give them enough they'll become fickle and be bored of you you know it's like it's like a delicate balance which is in my opinion why these type of girls i have such a love-hate relationship with but is very realistic in my opinion and like for her to say that about uh ryuji like i don't think she's the best fit for you stuff like that you know without really saying she's the best fit for him you know it's just like Hmm. It's 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 interesting. And meanwhile, if she was genuine and honest and considerate, and she looked this good while doing it, I think she has a genuine shot with uh with Ryuji and a lot of guys. She could probably Loki have anyone she wants, but it's just just interesting how she goes about stuff. And she knows she's doing it too. Like like she's very aware. But you know, it's just it's just interesting her character. I think her character is the most interesting to me personally. But this, this story was fantastic. I love the analogy still between ghosts and love. And I don't know. I just love the show. It's a very funny, very realistic rom-com who I wish I had watched when I was little because I probably would have had a better love life in high school had I had watched this. I will not lie to you. But thank you, Dapper Squad. I genuinely appreciate y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Thank y'all. Have a great day. Peace out.